open your mouth and begin to give God some praise because he's worthy. The Bible declared that he will inhabit the praises of his people. And if we praise him right, I'm telling you, the inhabitant of him pulling his our praise unto him, he's stepping over in it. That means the glory of God could shower down on us. I don't know about you, but every day that I breathe the air that God has sent, it lets me know how great he is. And not only that, but every day when I wake up, I wake up appreciating God and life. And it's good to be seen. Hello here. It's good to be heard. Because somebody went over into eternity this morning. But I'm so glad that I'm still living in the land of the living. That means he's given me another opportunity, Sister Boleg. And because he's given me another opportunity, I believe that he deserves our best praise. He deserves our best worship. So come on, can you give God some praise in here? Come on, can you really bless him up in here? Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, bless his mighty name today. Oh, bless his mighty name, mighty name, mighty name. We call him Jesus the son of the living God we call him Jesus our counselor and our redeemer we call him Jesus my savior and my healer my deliverer yes he is oh yes 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 I find no fault in Jesus I find no fault in him if any man is perfect it is him in all of his ways and if he wasn't perfect, who would know it? Come on, saints of the Most High God. Come on and give him what he deserves today. Come on and bless him for being God and being the Savior of your soul. Come on, come on, sanctified people. And put your hands together. Clap your hands. Push the enemy away from you. Push the enemy away from your mind today and bring your mind into the captivity huh, of the Holy Ghost today huh, in the name of Jesus huh. oh blessed Savior now huh, we need you as never before huh. we need to need you to undergird us huh. we need you to build yourself up in us huh. we need you to take hold of us huh, and lead us now oh God huh, in a time of perilous time huh, in dangerous times and situations huh, we need you to lead us now huh? oh yes father huh? lead us in the way that we should go huh? almighty god today huh? in you do we trust huh? our de confidence huh? is in you today huh? we believe you with all our heart huh? all our soul and all our might huh? we believe you today god huh? you're not a god that would ever leave us huh? you said you would never leave us huh? nor would you forsake us huh? but you would always be with us huh? even into the end of the world huh? yes lord huh? yes lord huh? yes lord huh? somebody's coming today huh? seeking your face huh? somebody's coming today huh? because they need you huh? they've been crying out unto you huh? seeking for direct and instruction god huh? i pray that you speak today to every situation huh? in the name of jesus huh? and we will lift our heads huh? oh ye people huh? yes oh lord huh? yes oh lord huh? we will declare it huh? we will tell it huh? we will let the heathens know huh? that you are so real huh? and that you live it huh? oh yes god huh? oh yes god huh? bless this house today huh? move in a great way huh? touch the heart of your people huh? bring them on into you huh? in the name of Jesus huh? bless the leadership huh? let your anointing fall upon them huh? give them a fresh anointing huh? give them insight huh? give them revelation huh? heal their bodies huh? uplift them in righteousness huh? in Jesus name huh? bless every pastor huh? every leader huh? in their perspective position huh? in the name of Jesus huh? talk to us God huh? in this hour and in this day huh? as we seek you huh? you said if we seek you huh? 
we would find you. You said if we call upon you, you would answer us, Lord. Oh, Jesus, you're not a man you should lie, not a son of man that thou shalt repent. Whatever goes out of your mouth, you're able to bring it to pass. In Jesus' name, now accomplish, God, that which you see fit. Accomplish day. Oh, Father, in the purpose of this camp meeting, in Jesus' name, let the flames of the Holy Ghost, my God, let it raise up high in our spirit. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, we do pray and we do believe in the mighty name of Jesus. Come on, saints of God, give God an amen and give him a praise uh, right now uh, hallelujah oh, 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 oh. oh jesus oh jesus oh yes lord oh yes lord oh yes lord oh yes lord Oh yes, somebody better tell God yes. Come on and tell him yes today. Come on and tell him yes. You can do better than that. Tell him yes. Hallelujah. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. Hallelujah. Can you just, while you stand, can you just grab your neighbor by the hand and just tell them and look at them in their face and just tell them, say, neighbor, God desire is to use you in this hour. You cannot afford not to follow the spirit of God in this hour, in this season, in this moment. It's going to be important that you have an ear to hear God. It is important that you obey God in this day. And if you do obey him, he's going to cause you to eat the fat of the land. Say, oh neighbor, whatever you do, don't lose your love for God and for the people of God. Come on and clap your hands and give him some praise. Hallelujah! I feel him now. Glory to God! Woohoo! Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. While you're standing, come on and give honor to this great man of God, Bishop Dennis Thompson. Praise the Lord who has been led by the Lord to do this camp meeting. Praise God. Uh, we honor him. We appreciate him and the work that he is doing in this part of the vineyard. Praise the Lord. There is a lot of pressure on the men of God, especially pastors now that have to shepherd people through because we're living in a time and in a day where everybody thinks they know everything. And so it's hard to shepherd people that think they know everything. And so the, 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 the warfare is on against leadership. And so you that knows the prayer of prayer, you need to keep your leader up. And you need to constantly call his name out unto the Lord. Praise the Lord. Because a lot of things we have to deal with that is good. And a lot of things and most of the things we deal with is foolish. Praise the Lord. Come on now. And so if there is the warfare on and you know that many are dropping out, praise the Lord. Some people are dropping out because of pressure. Others are dropping out because of the pressure of people. Praise the Lord. They just can't take it no more. And so you've got to pray for their strength. I'd rather fight than quit. I mean... Hello here. And I mean that both ways. I mean that spiritually and I mean that physically. <laughs> Hello now. Hello now. Hello now. Hello now. You know, somebody said you shouldn't have said that, but I'm, I'm for real. 
I'm, 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 I'm for real because I believe God is real and I believe that he dwells inside of us and I believe that God has a purpose for every one of us praise the Lord come on now and I just can't continue to just let you run him down and I do nothing about it come on anything you love you fight for come on you literally literally fight for it if you love it if you love it you're gonna fight for it praise the lord and sometimes you have to go into the spirit realm and just sometimes you just got to push people away get out of my ear i can't hear it why because i'm trying to make heaven my home i'm trying to get there i'm trying to get there praise the lord and you ain't helping it <laughs> book of Ephesians in Philippians I'm sorry in the book of Philippians the third chapter verse 12 through 14 if you would stand for the reading of the word today praise the Lord I'm going to read from two different versions the King James version and then I'm going to read from the TPT version and the Bible says in the 12th verse of the third chapter Philippians says not as though I have already obtained either were already perfect but i follow after if that i may apprehend that for which also i am apprehended of christ jesus brethren i count it not myself to have apprehended but this one thing i do forgetting those things which are behind me and reaching forth unto those things which are before so i press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling in the high calling of God in Christ Jesus in the PTP in the TPT version it says I admit that I haven't yet acquired uh, absolutely fullness that I am persuade pursuing but I run with passion into this abundance so that I may reach the purpose that Christ, that Jesus Christ has called me to the fullness and want me to discover. I don't depend upon my own strength to accomplish this. However, I do have one compelling focus. I forget all of those past as I fasten my heart to the future instead. I run straight for the divine invitation of reaching the heavenly goal and gaining the victory prize through the anointing of Jesus. Uh, just look at a neighbor and say, neighbor, I'm not going to let my history stop my destiny I'm not going to allow my history to keep me from my destiny you may be seated we thank God for all the pastors and evangelists and leaders in the house of the Lord ah! I didn't see that thank God we love you sir Thank God for Pastor Parker. Come on, you can do better than that. We thank God that he don't look like what he's been through. Now, if you, that's an example of what God can do. Y'all ain't talking to me. Y'all can't tell me. Y'all can't tell me God ain't good. Y'all can't tell me God ain't merciful. Y'all can't tell me that he's not a divine God. And that God, somebody ought to turn to somebody and say, he's a healer. Say, we can see it for ourselves. He's a healer. Come on and give God some praise. Hallelujah. Oh, good God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hey, 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 hey Jesus. Somebody said healing is riding in the house. And in any condition I have, God is able, willing, and will do 
right now if I ask him for it. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Good God Almighty. Woo-hoo. Hallelujah. We praise God for my brother. Hallelujah. We praise God. Listen, I, I'm like this. I'm like this. I'm getting Here I go. I'm getting emotional. Listen. Listen, listen, listen. <laughs> uh, my God, my God, my God, my God, my God. Anytime you can go through what he's been through and walk in here like that, you know that he had to believe God. Woo-wee! Come on and praise him! You got time! Oh, glory! God is just an amazing God to me. He's a, he is an amazing God to me. I'm telling you, he is such an amazing God. Woo! Lord, if we could just love him, if we could just love him like we ought to love him. Oh my God. What else would God do? What else would he do? What else would he do? Oh, my God. Woo. You blew my mind today, sir. You done blew my mind. You done messed up my whole message. <laughs> oh, God. I live for the Holy Ghost to blow my mind. I'm telling you, Pastor Parker, just to, just to see you in here and to see you stand. But I don't want you to overdo it. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. He is, I'm telling you. God, sir, you just don't look like what you've been through. You look marvelous. Just marvelous. Just marvelous. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, well I, I, I do thank God for Pastor Pennington and Pastor Carter and the companions and, and uh, all of you that are here. I thank God. I thank God for the musician and the praise conductor leader today. Y'all really help usher in the presence of God. And I appreciate you all so much for what God is doing in your lives. And uh, just for the whole praise team, the young people that are singing and blowing. And just sound so wonderful and beautiful. Praise the Lord. Well, let me let, 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 let me try this and uh, get out of the way. And uh, 
You may be seated if you can. Now, if you can't, you are not going to hurt my feelings at all. Uh, not, 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 not at all. Not at all. Uh, you know. And so, as we move forward, boy, you didn't mess me up. Uh, as we move forward, you know, we we the 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 thing about the enemy is this: the enemy doesn't want us to believe that God is a forgiving God. That's the first thing, that he does not want us to believe that he is a forgiving God. But he is a forgiving God, and he can forgive you for anything that ever we have done in our life's time, regardless of what it is and how bad it looks and, and, and what you have thought and what happened is, is that he tries to take us into uh, horrendous things that, that, that will cause us to have these images and these thoughts in our mind uh, when God do come after us that he can use to go back into to keep you from having the praise that you ought to have. He always try to keep us on a guilt trip and make us think that that or make us feel like you don't even deserve to thank him. That you shouldn't be the one that is appreciating and lifting your hands and worshiping God for the things that we have done history is defined as the as we look at it we look at several different types of meaning number one is an, it is an act is it an idea or is it an event that will or can shape the course of your future there's some things that we have done that that it, our history can say or, or history uh, in our, our past can shape us uh, in the way that we should go. It can work for your benefit, praise the Lord, because what happens is, is that, is that uh, God begins, you see, all of your politicians are already being shaped. You understand they 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 they're born into it and they're already being shaped to be the next senator or to be the next governor. It's just something that just doesn't happen. It's planned. And so what happens is when the devil gets an inkling of your future, when he gets an inkling of your destiny, then what he tries to do is mess up your history going toward that to make you think you can never get there. It, 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 if Paul would have would have stayed with his mindset of killing the Jews and he did kill the Jews, but if he didn't let it go, you got to understand it is him that is writing this. If he didn't let it go, then he would never feel like he could be an apostle. He never would have feel like that he could write half of the New Testament. Are you listening to me? Because he would feel unworthy. But Paul says, I once was a child, but now I am adult. But one thing I do, I forget those things. I, I, I'm letting those things go. Why? Because if I don't, my future and the purpose of my destiny will not happen and we cannot allow in this hour for the enemy to play games with our minds watch this and so he plants acts he does it he has ideas it's an event that shapes us then it's dealing with past events some people can never really come out of their past can never come out of that history that they have made in their lifetime. Hello here. It's either having to do with their father or something that happened to do with their mother or how they was born or who they was born unto or, 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 or they find out that, 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 that little Willie is not their daddy and it's Bob Earl. Y'all ain't saying nothing. You understand? They, 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 they find out, praise the Lord, through time that it wasn't that their grandmama is really not their mama. You see what I'm saying? And then all of a sudden that 
devastates them that breaks something but God has a future for you God has a destiny for you it's just the enemy now trying to play games you got to be able to say it doesn't matter I'm in the land of the living and if I'm in the land of the living he's able to change anything for me oh touch some I'm gonna help somebody today so then, so then, it's, 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 it, can, it can be previous treatment, handling, or experience. How you was treated and how people, you know, and, and this is something that, that church people has to really, has to really get, 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 get in their spirit. Is they say, when I first came to God, oh, everybody hugged me. Everybody loved me. Everybody was appreciative. They met me at the door. Oh, they always call me. And I'm telling you, it was just so much love. It was just so much love. But, 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 but now, don't nobody say nothing hardly to me. And don't nobody. It's because, it's not because they don't nobody love you, but you have matured enough that whatever they did for you, now you got to do it for somebody else. See, but the devil wants you to, the devil don't want you to mature. He doesn't want you to grow up because whatever with treatment would happen to you, now it's your time to do it to somebody. So now you should meet people at the door. Now you should usher people to the seat. Now you should sit beside somebody and tell them how good the word is and how good God is and how great it is. Y'all ain't hearing nobody up in here. You understand? The problem that I have with people is this right here people have people have have funny spirits now i preached it last night i'm not gonna go back into it uh uh, uh but i find another law are you listening to me and, and and the older you get you can find another law because your spirit change and if your spirit change then that means there's something that was hidden in you Y'all ain't saying nothing. Are you listening to me? It doesn't matter, brother, brother, brother Wayne. If 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 me and you never talk, but the thing of it is, we're brothers. Are you listening to me? And my love for you should never change because of my where I live. Or who I hang around now. Because when I see you, it's still going to be the same. They say, I didn't know you knew them. Oh, yeah, I know them now. And ain't nothing going to change with that. Because every time I see you, it's not because of who I'm with that should change me. My love should never change. Why? Because I talk about the agape love. I talk about the love of Christ. You've been lying all the time. Yeah, you should find another law. See, it shouldn't. It, 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 it shouldn't. It shouldn't. It just shouldn't because of my love for God and God loves for me. And if my love is so great in God, I should be able to love you like he did. Are you listening to me? Jesus' love for Peter never changed, although he denied him. Now you let somebody deny us. See, we ain't as saving we think we are. We have a form of godliness. But we deny the power. that You don't have the power that you think you do. Your dress doesn't tell me you hold it. Your personality, your attitude tells me where you are in God. If you got to shun me because little Kim is in the building. then that means you never thought nothing about me that much anyway. Can I preach? And so then it is the previous treatment of handling it. And, and, and so it, 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 if, if my treatment has been hellish and people have treated me wrong, 
It is not what people do to me that will keep me out of heaven. It is what I'm going to do to you that will keep me out of heaven. What if Jesus would say, now everybody in here have sinned at one time or another as recently as yesterday. But what if, what if Jesus held that against us and said, you know, I'm through with them. I ain't loving them no more. And you know something? They didn't forget. I am the deliverer. And so you know something? Because you did that to me, I ain't delivering you. What if he was like that? What if he was really like us? Come on now. You might as well get butt naked and run out here in the sun because there ain't nothing going to happen. <laughs> this is crazy. See, see, here's the thing. It is one thing to talk about the love of God. It's another thing to have the love of God. It's a one thing to talk about how he is and preach about how he is. It's another thing to be an example of how he really is. Because I can't draw nobody in my own personality. I've got to draw people in the personality of God. And the only way that I can get the personality of God is I got to be born again. If I'm really born again and I'm working on me, then I'm going to have the personality of God. Lord, help me out to get out of this. Are you listening to him? And so the thing of it is, that's what draws. That's what draws. Can I preach? And so history can simply mean the past or in, in passing all that has happened before the present moment. History can be uh, reserved to as an individual, referred to as an individual past experience, action, or background. But the key is this here is, is my past doesn't or shouldn't dictate my destiny. Yeah, 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 we, yeah, 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 you've you been a crook. Yeah, you've been a liar, you've been a little gangster. You understand, you know, you, you, you didn't hold a little bit much more than you should. But God, but God. But God, he comes in and he changes our personality. He changes our character. That's what he means. If any man be in Christ, he's, he is a new creature. And you cannot let people keep having conversation about your past. See, the devil, he never speaks to your future, but he always speaks to your past. How do you know the devil? Because he's bringing up your past. And my past is what it is. It's my past. I'm no longer live in my past. You better give somebody a high five and tell them I don't live in my past. I just don't live there no more. So the Bible says forget the formal conversation. And then it tells us to denounce the hidden things of dishonesty. And so here we are. Here we are. So I ought to be able to, I ought to be able to hug you in church and in the mall. Come on now. I'm speaking all the way down the aisle to everybody. And then when I see you in the mall, you go to another aisle. Oh, there they are. See what I'm saying? Watch this. Watch this. It gets deeper because watch this. He says, even we ought to love our enemy. So if I see my enemy, I know you've been running me down. I know you've been cutting it. I know you didn't told everybody. I know you didn't told all them lies. But hey, how you doing? I just want to hug you and all your lies. I want to hug you. I want to hug you. I just want to let you know. I just want to hug you. I just, whoo. Thank you, Jesus, for you. Because if you hadn't lied, I wouldn't be going toward my destiny. You made me see God more. You made me call on God more. You made me to be a better person. I want to thank you for that lie you told. 
What you hugging me for? I want to thank you for the lie. God bless you. You just don't know what you've done for me. Look at y'all's faces. <laughs> the apostle in Philippians, 1 Kings, he, he, he talks about forgetting. He talks about that the only way I can get to this deeper depth, Bishop, is to forget. Forgetting what does this look like? What does forgetting look like? Forgetting means that I have to forget, uh, or it means to watch this, to be concealed or hidden or an escape detection. I, 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 some things that we try to conceal, we try to hide because we don't want nobody to know. And if I conceal it, I don't want it open no more. So I forget it. Y'all ain't heard it. You see, the, the, the first thing that the psychiatry say in, in order dealing with your issues, and I don't have no problem with psychiatry. I don't have no problem with it. I think some of us need more professional help. You know, I believe in medicine. And I believe in taking pills for bipolar. I don't think it's no more difference than you taking a pill for bipolar than you take a pill for high blood pressure. Hello here. You know, I, I, I believe I don't have to take no bipolar medicine. It's because I hid myself in God. And he has helped me not to go overboard. <laughs> That's the only reason I don't take it. That's the only reason I don't take it. Take it. Are you listening to me? Because I found how he has brought me and, and taught me how to bring myself under subjection. Yeah. Yeah. Only because of him. Believe me, believe me. If it wasn't for him, I'd probably be taken to a day. Listen. Uh, 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 behind means that uh, what does putting behind me means? It refers to putting something to the back. The word reaching refers to stretching out further. Look at your neighbor and said, I got to go a little further. Mm -hmm. remember, when, remember when Peter and them was fishing and, and they was fishing and the fish, this, this, this right here, what, 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 what just, just knocked me out of the box, is that what they was fishing for should have been close to the shore. The fishes they was fishing for should have been closer to the shore because they would throw their net out and the fish would come in. They rake. But they had been torn. They had been fishing all night and nothing has happened. But Jesus come and reverse it. Y'all don't say nothing. He reverses it. He tells them to launch out in the deep. You know, that blew Peter's mind. Launch out in the deep. The fish is supposed to be here. And you want us to launch out in the deep? He forgot that he's a part of creation. He can do anything that he wants to do. He don't, the, the fish don't have to come here. He, the fish will come wherever he calls. I want to let you know today, your resource is wherever he tells you it is. He's telling you that your help is in your future and not in your past. Oh, I see a church coming. Are you listening to me? Just turn to somebody and said, I'm forgetting this. As of today, I'm letting go of my past because I found out it's nothing but the devil's camp you are not what you used to be he says he says uh, 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 launch out into the deep Peter you know he had to scratch his head and said well you know uh, uh, you know all right Nevertheless, at your word, we're going to do it. 
And when he did it, there was the fish. Whatever God's going to do, he's going to do the opposite of what you think. The reason why we miss God, Bishop, is because we always put God where we think. He's already told us that his thought is not our thought. And his ways are not our ways. And all of his ways and thoughts is higher than ours. The problem is, is that our mind can't go that high. So what you have to do is accept what he says. My mind doesn't take me to the deep. My mind said that the fish ought to be right here. But because of who you are and what you say, and since we ain't had no results right here, it ain't going to hurt us to launch out in the deep. You better tell somebody, it ain't going to hurt you to go out a little farther. It can't hurt you. Get on out there, scaredy cat. Get on out there. What you scared of? Ain't nothing working here. So you might as well launch on out. Ooh, I'm helping somebody right now. If it's not working here, and you've been here in this spot for 15 years, well, for a couple of moments, it ain't going to hurt you to step over here. And when you get over here, you're going to find he's been here all the time. He's never been in your path. He's been here all the time. Oh, good God Almighty. Give somebody a high five and say, I'm coming out of this. I'm coming out of this picture. I'm, I'm coming out of this. I'm coming out of this. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm coming out of this. this. This devil has been painting a picture for me and I've been living in it for years. He had me framed in. But I'm breaking loose today. I'm breaking loose today. I, I'm breaking loose today. I, I, I ain't got nothing to lose. Mm -hmm. So then Paul looks at him and said, well, you know, uh, we are trouble on every side, but not distressed. Come on now. I'm going to help somebody in your distress. If you let it go, I promise you, your blood pressure will come down. If you let it go, your heartbeat is going to be regular. If you let it go, your color going to change. If you let it go, you're going to find out them pains in your back is going to go. Because it ain't nothing wrong with no muscle. Ain't nothing wrong with no vertebrae. It's all stress. Tell somebody I'm letting it go today. Mm -hmm. Tell them I'm getting ready to get healthy. Without medicine. All I need is a good dose of God. <laughs> ah. I just need a good dose. I just need a good dose. Every now and then you got to come to the house of God and say, I just need a good dose. Uh, this devil's trying to play with me by my past. Hey, I, I just need a good dose. I just need to hear a word uh, that speaks toward my future. I just need a word uh, that shows me my purpose. I just need a word uh, that shows me my destiny. I just need a word uh, to show me the greener pastor. Notice what he said. I lead you into greener pastures. I cause you. Because we ain't got sin enough to lay down. He said I make them to lie down in greener pastures. I lead them by the still water. See, because sheep got wool. They can't fall into running water because they, 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 the wool. And they, they drown themselves. So he got to be led. See. By the steel water. Got, got to make sure that the water is steel. Everybody needs a moment of peace. Are you with me? He says that. He says, he says that we are perplexed, but not in despair. Ah, another translation says, uh, though we experience every kind of pressure, we are not crushed. At times, we don't know what to do. But we're not quitting. And quitting is not an option. Tell somebody, I don't care how hard it gets. 
I don't care how hard it get. I don't care how the flames is, is flaming up. There's no option for me to quit. Because if I quit, I ain't got no help. But if I stay in the fight, then he becomes to be a present help. A present help. A present help. A right now help. Look at three people and tell him he's a right now help. And tell him he's getting ready to help you in your future. That's a praise moment right there. Yeah, that, that's, that's a praise moment. <laughs> Look at somebody and tell them quitting is not my option. And see, that's what the devil wants you to do. He wants you to quit. He wants you to stop. He don't want you to press. See, in, in, in order to press, that means something's got to be pushing against you. See, I can't press unless something is pushing me back. Hello here. But in my pressing, there come a time that I got to do this. I got to stand. And stand there for. I'm pushing, but I ain't going nowhere. But I ain't going backwards either. I'm pressing, I'm pushing, I'm pushing. And if I keep pushing, then after a while, God's going to give me a breakthrough. Tell somebody in all you're doing, stand there for. But you got to stand with something. You got to stand with your lawns girt about with truth. You got to have the breastplate of righteousness on. And you got to have the shield of faith. Those three things you got to have. In your standing, in your pushing. God help me to get out of here. And so then, and so then, let's get to the goody part. Can we get to the goody part? The goody part is, is that in the general sense, destiny means the event that will necessarily happen to a person in the future. Now, watch this. My past is to stop me. But my future is supposed to be better than my past. So then, so then, in my destiny, in the event that I will, it's necessary to happen, some things had to happen. Because if it hadn't happened, it wouldn't have pushed you. Y'all ain't saying nothing. And see, I, I started thinking like this. I ain't, ain't been thinking like this all my life now. I had, had to grow to this, had to grow to this. It took me a long time to get here. Don't fool yourself. It took me a long time to get here. But, 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 but what I did, what I did is this right here. I, I started using things that came against me to launch me. I said, if the devil's got to do this and there's something up here he don't want me to get to. There's something he wants me to see, something he wants me to feel, something he wants me to experience. And the devil don't want me to get there. But you know, I'm going to use this right here. I'm going to use every lie. I'm going to use every disappointment. I'm going to, y'all ain't saying nothing. I'm going to lose, I'm going to use every pressure to push me where I got to be. Because where I got to be has got to be a lot better than where I'm at. Hello here. If I get to the event, if I get to the place, if I get to my future, watch this. It's going to be better. But certain things had to happen in our life because if it had not happened, you wouldn't have been here. If it hadn't have been for certain troubles, you wouldn't be in the house of God. If it hadn't have been some for disappointment and some dying, you wouldn't be here. Because you would think everything is all right. So it took some disappointments in your mind, in your in yourself. Watch this. If David hadn't come from, hadn't got to Ziklag from after the war and the battle and got to Ziklag. And when he got to Ziklag, he found out that the women was gone. The houses was burned up. It wasn't so much that the houses was burned up that disappointed, but, but the wives was gone. And they took all the money. Are you listening to me? It's something about when you see your family going through and something about when your money is depleted that makes you want to do something. 
and so the men the same one that celebrate him you got to watch how people celebrate you you got to watch how people talk good about you and build you up the bible says beware of men how they speak well of you are you listening to me and those same people that swell your head all those years and told you how great and how wonderful you are and can't nobody preach like you but when you laid hands on me something shifted me you got to be careful with that stuff because watch this later on those same people are turn on you but rather than you getting mad and getting all upset and wondering why what's wrong with these people they crazy didn't they see what I prayed and what I did you know you got to use it as a launching pad so they seen people that build him up has now want to stone him but David said you know I'm going to encourage myself because I see I ain't got nobody else to encourage me these same devils that were praising me now want to take me down so I got to go over here and encourage myself how you going to encourage yourself Dave I'm going to take the ether and I'm going to pray and see what God says Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, don't let your history stop you from your destiny. Say yes. Say yes. He said, I ain't going to let you do this to me. I'm going to encourage myself. So, Lord, what do we do? What do we do? You done let these people praise me like that. And now the wives are gone. You couldn't keep this till we got back. You couldn't stop the devil from destroying what we has built. And don't sit here and look at me like you ain't talk to God like that. You mean to tell me you done brought us this far? Now you gonna let this happen? Yeah, this is happening because there's another place. This is happening because I don't want you to get comfortable. This is happening because I got a greater destiny. It doesn't stop here. There's something greater. You haven't even got into your purpose yet. Just three people and say, you ain't got to your purpose yet. One day is just a thousand years to go. You ain't got there yet. Sitting there looking like a wonder. You haven't got there yet. So he said, all right, I can't let all this praising get to David's head. Well, let's see what he does. When he has to deal with opposition. See it is. <laughs> it's wonderful when you can feel the presence of the Lord. And that he's in the room and we're jumping and shouting. and Somebody's bunion straightened up. We just happy go lucky. Uh, praise the Lord. But what happened? When you got to deal with opposition. What happened when your children get crazy? And no longer want to be apart. What do you do when Aunt Sue tells you that Aunt Bethy ain't your mama? What, <laughs> what do you do? What do you do when everybody that, 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 that had broke bread with you now keep their heels up against you? What, 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 what you going to do? What you going to do when everybody decide to leave you at the same time? 
what you going to do? Are you going to go back and soak in your tears? Are you going to go back and feel sorry for yourself? The Bible said, be not dismayed. Y'all better talk to me in here. But I decided to go to God. Oh, y'all ain't saying nothing. I decided to go to God. I decided to talk to God. I decided to see what direction did he wanted me to go. I decided and he said, listen here, David, I want you to pursue. And not only do I want you to pursue, but I want you to recover everything. And in recovering of everything doesn't mean just everything you lost. But you get ready to take some stuff that the enemy had. You getting ready to get more than you ever had in your life. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Started off with 400, but only 200 got sick. Ah, Y'all ain't saying nothing. 200 got weak as water. Couldn't go nowhere. That could have been another discouragement. Because we gonna take these little people and fight that. But I got a word on it. Look at somebody and tell them I got a word on it. It's not how many, but it's about God being in the many. God, I feel like preaching now. Tell somebody it's not in the many, but it's God in the number. And if God's in the number, he's greater than thousands. Y'all better help me today. On the left side, I can put a thousand to flight. Just one person. Y'all better talk to me in here. Look at somebody and said now I'm not gonna let uh, my history stop my destiny I got greater things coming from me say yes somebody all right sit down you're scaring me you're scared you got me scared now, let me say this and I promise you I'm closing I promise you I'm closing Hey, good God. From one of our dictionary, it means uh, the state or condition or appointed, predetermined, ultimate faith. That's destiny. It is the state or condition appointed. Tell somebody, I got an appointed time. Him, I got an appointed time. Now in that appointed time, I got to wait. And sometimes waiting makes me think I don't have appointed time. But I have an appointed time to meet destiny. Woohoo! Woohoo! But in that appointed time, I got to go through this to push me to it. Keep pushing me to it. So it is, it is a condition. It is a condition. Hello here. Uh, of appointment or appointed or predetermined ultimate faith but there are several things to take place in your destiny predestination says that God has predetermined the course or events in the ultimate outcome for individuals in the world determined means uh, decided in advance meaning already done now watch this you're fighting against something that's already done you're all upset of something that is already done it is already pre predetermined hello now you are letting the devil talk to you about something about your past that already been determined in your future. Mm. It's already done. So that means that the dev God will never allow the devil to defeat you for it's already done. So that means if God will never allow the devil to keep you from what's already done, then that means something is wrong with us. Y'all ain't saying nothing. See, sometimes the devil doesn't even have to do anything to us. He just wait on us to be a fool ourselves. You understand what I'm saying? And whoever is appointed to you to push you in your 
destiny, that's who the devil have you to fight. Y'all ain't hearing me today. No, you're not. No, you're not. No, you're not. It should have been a praise right there. No, you ain't hearing nothing, but let me say it again. Whoever is appointed by God to push you in your destiny, that's who you don't like. And that's who the devil wants you to fight. It was preordained that David would be king. It was already done. It was already predestined. Y'all don't hear me at all. Listen, it was already done. It was already done. He didn't have to go unto Bathsheba. He probably going to get her anyway. Because Uriah was always on the front line. That means he was going to get killed anyway. He just helped it. The Bible says, the Bible, the Bible says, the Bible says, the Bible says, I think, I think, I think, I think it's, it's in Numbers. I think it is. I think it is. Really. Let me, let me say it. The Bible says, the Bible says that, 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 that God said, you uh, 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 Bathsheba, the wife of Urias. Then you go down about the 24th verse and the Bible says, now uh, Bathsheba, the wife of David. You, you, you switch that fast? You switch that fast, God. Watch this. His punishment would be that the sword would never leave his home. But it did not, did, did not mess up the course of him being king. For the simple fact, it was already done. Y'all better help me today. Are you listening to me? See, there's some things you just got to wait on. Don't help it. Because you can alter the timing of it. But you're not going to stop it altogether. Rachel, y'all better talk to me in here. Are you listening to me? Not Rachel. Rebecca did not have to help Isaac. Or Jacob. I'm sorry. Jacob. She did not have to help Jacob. She was already told that he was going to be the ruler. And then she's going to go help it. See, that's the problem with most of us. We think we can speed up. You can't speed up nothing. You, 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 you think that you know more than anybody else. But if David wouldn't have accepted Samuel, y'all ain't saying nothing. Are you listening to me? To go to Jesse's house and still pull on Jesse, do you have another? It's got to be another. Now, where is he? Oh, Y'all ain't saying nothing. Are you, it already been predetermined as he was a little boy. God already checked his heart as a little boy. You think what you're in just happening. God checked you years ago. God help me to get out of here. Are you listening to me today? Tell somebody, he already knows. Yeah. Yeah, why are you going to do it? Predestined says that God has already predetermined the course of events and the ultimate outcome for individuals of the world. It is, watch this, it means this. Predetermined means a decision and advanced meeting already done. So watch it, the divine call now, the divine calling, this emphasize that the idea that God has a specified purpose or mission for each person's life. He has a specified divine calling for each person's life. The problem with us is, is that we've got to come back to Eve. Our problem is, is that we want to go above what he said. Got to have more than what he says. You already like God. You don't have to be as God's. You already got the greatest of all gods. Silly y'all in the garden. Y'all has the ability to name animals. Y'all have the ability to eat off any tree you want to, except the tree in the midst of the garden. 
You have the ability to call a hippo a hippo. You got the ability to call an elephant an elephant. And God said, that's what it shall be. Come on now. But because of the, 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 the ability to want to be more than what you are. Are you listening to me? I just can't be a God. I want to be a forward. If I'm a forward, I want to be a God. You're going to mess up the whole system. Are you listening to me? Glory be to God. I had an organist one time, Mr. Organist, and he told me, he said, he said, I, I can play. I said, well, play me something. He said, whatever, you got it on. I said, that ain't playing. He said, I can play. He hit another one. I said, you cannot play. Watch this. He wanted to be, <laughs> he wanted to be more than what he was, but he didn't think I was going to check him. Are you listening to me? And that's what God does. Sometimes we don't think God's going to check us. And he says, that's not what I ordained for you. This is what I ordained for you. And you heard people say, stay in your lane. That's God. Stay in your lane. Because in your lane is what has already been determined for you. And there's nothing that can come out of it but greatness. See, anything that God determined for you is great. And you're trying to go above your measure. Some was given 30. Others was given 60. The other was given 100. If you complete your 34, then that's your 100%. That's your ability. Come on. And your ability is according to what God said you can take. Come on, church. Look at somebody said, I'm headed yes. toward my destiny. Toward my destiny. Yeah, so divine calm. So he summons you because he has destiny. So today, what is God doing? God is summoning you. He's calling you. He's pulling you. He's trying to bring you into your destiny. Let me let you go. Some of you get a little wormy. Watch this. It is already preordained. Then all I've got to do is hear this. The footsteps of a good man is already ordered by the Lord. All I got to do is walk in the footsteps. Are you listening to me? If I come to a roadblock, don't get out of the step. Just stay here and take it. Just stay here and take it. Just take it, just take it. Because what he's doing, he's trimming you down for the next step. He's trimming you down for the next path. Because I can't let you go in the next path because you're too heavy. You're going to get stuck again. Y'all ain't said, so I'm going to trim you down here. I'm going to take away your attitude. I'm going to take away your lust. I'm going to take away your unforgiveness. Because in your destiny, I can't have that. Then all of a sudden, you see yourself moving again. Walking in the path. Y'all ain't saying nothing. And he says, if you do fall. He said, though a man falls seven times, yet shall I lift him up. Tell somebody it's not over. If you fall, it's not over. If you make a mistake, God is a merciful God. He's a forgiving God. It's already been predetermined. It's already done. I just got to get up, shake myself off, and say, for God I'll live, and for God I'll die. Can I get somebody to say amen? Lift your hands and give God some praise. Say yes, somebody. Woohoo! Woohoo! And we gotta know that all things work together for the good of those. Ah, oh, help me today. Why? Because there's a call and there's a purpose. Look at somebody said, I'm getting ready to get in this call. Whatever that call is, I'm gonna get in it because I've got a purpose to fulfill. Oh, yes! I've got a purpose. Just look at your neighbor real good in the eyeball and say, neighbor, I don't care what you feel. You have purpose. I don't care how small the devil want to make you feel. You have purpose. You have 
our purpose. And the devil can't kill you until your purpose is fulfilled. I don't care how many times you're knocked down. Joseph had a dream. Y'all ain't saying nothing. His brother was jealous of his dream. Took him, threw him in a pit, brought him out of the pit, brought him to a pot, sold him. Then he went to prison. But let me tell you something. His destiny had already been spoken. He had a purpose. What is your purpose? It is to save my family and to pull them out of seven. You can't afford to lose your destiny. You can't afford to lose your purpose. It's just not for you. It's for the people that are behind you. Say yes, somebody. It's just not for you. I was going to preach one man's prayer. Second Chronicles 30, where Hezekiah called for Judah, Israel and Judah. And then he wrote a letter to Ephraim and Manassas to come to a feast because of the Passover. <laughs> but the Lord changed me. And the thing of it is, Watch this. He calls them, and they're supposed to do it the first month, but he switched it to the second month. And he had to write a letter. Watch this. The priests did not sanctify themselves as they ought. But he still sent a letter. And watch this. Everybody didn't come but the remnant. But the Bible said that Hezekiah prayed. And when Hezekiah prayed, watch this. They came. But because of the remnant and those that did it right, God forgave the remnant that didn't. Watch this. And the Bible says that God brought great joy. That means God is going to bring back favor. Look at somebody and tell them, if I keep my charge, according to what God says my destiny is, God's going to return unto us his favor. Everybody standing. Let me get out of here. Everybody standing. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, I have a responsibility to hold my charge because my destiny has already been determined and I want to get there. I want to get there because in that place is not only my deliverance but my healing and my prosperity y'all better talk to me it's all there let me tell you something people of God it is no season to be bound it's no season to be unhappy find your happy place in God and stay there stay there in that happy place in God and when you're going through don't let the enemy start making you talk foolish because we'll get there we'll, I don't, I've done it I've done it and paid a price paid a price for talking foolish because we talk without an understanding are you listening to me but certain things has to happen in your life because of who God says you are. It's all because of who God says you are. And this is a day you got to know 
who you are. And you got to know who you are. Are you with me today? Don't let your history move out of it. Move out of it. Because watch this. If I move out of this time of history, then I'm able to move here to make history. And if I move out of this, then I'm able to make more history. The problem with the enemy is this right here. He's trying to cause us to go back because they say history has a way of coming back but not in a divine God because he keeps us going higher heights and deeper depths he always moves you forward are you with me today oh hallelujah that when you talk to your children you have to talk to your children about their future you got to talk to them the where they need to go. Bring up a child in the way that they should go. Good God Almighty. Are you listening to me? And not all your children are going to be prophets and evangelists. Are you listening to me? We need some saved senators and some saved congressmen. We, we, we need some shown up saved doctors and that the Holy Ghost can speak to them. Y'all better talk to me up in here. Are you listening to me? Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Join hands with somebody, if you will. Father, here we are. Headed into our destiny. You have called us as a people. Ah, God, we know that everybody's not going. We know that everybody ain't going to reach it. Uh, but we today decided that we're going to be in the remit that we are going to reach our destiny and then to do that God we're going to need you to renew our minds that we would think forward rather than backwards God I pray today that we as a people will make it right and that we don't miss the mark uh, 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 that we God it is not as if we have already apprehended uh, but this one thing we do know that we are forgetting those things which are behind us and father we're stretching out in you to reach toward the mark of the high call that's in you and the high call that is in you is called holiness uh, we're reaching for the holy way <laughs> we're reaching for the holy call uh, we're reaching for your holy purpose uh, and so God we pray today that you would give us the endurance uh, that you would give us the power that we need to go forward uh, and that you father would undergird us with your righteousness uh, and that you would lead us and guide us and direct us now father uh, in the name of Jesus uh, oh God with you on our side how can we fail when you speak into us as a people how we cannot make it but God in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus our confidence is in you that if you so fit to send the message then you will make sure that it is complete in us ah, and as the rain falleth upon the earth and the snow falleth upon the earth so shall you your word and your word shall not go back to you void but it shall accomplish that which you please I pray today that the word of God that bring changes in our lives that causes us to be a lamp a light unto our feet ah yes God and a lamp in our path I pray today oh God in the name of Jesus that you lighten up the way today that you motivate us in charges and that you cause us to hold our charge in this hour and in this day let us walk in a holy boldness in the name of Jesus let us not take down but cause us to press our way in the name of Jesus 
in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus now bless God now bless God allow the word to come alive in the name of Jesus clap those hands and give God some praise as you praise and believe him hallelujah glory to God hallelujah oh Jesus yeah 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 yes oh God oh God oh yes Jesus the son of David hey 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 oh Jesus Yeah, 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 yeah. Good God Almighty here. Break every yoke. Break every yoke. Oh, destroy the work of Satan. Jesus. Yeah, Jesus. Oh, Lord, come by here. Come in your healing. Come in your anointing. Come in your love. Come in your mercy. Come in your grace. Come by here. Oh, y'all, oh, Lord. Glory to God. Destiny awaits on you, people. Destiny awaits on you. Destiny awaits on you. Oh, if you believe it, I'm closing. If you believe it, turn to somebody and tell them, say, oh, neighbor, I'm going to stay in the race until I reach my destiny. And the devil ain't going to be able to stop me. Hey.